Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Monday the 19th of October 2020. Thanks for joining me I'm using the Gilded Tarot for this reading. Let's see what the cards want you to know today and what energy you'll be working with. Let's have a look. First card, the Four of Cups, the Ace of Cups, Fab, and the Eight of Cups. Oh wow, all cups. Cups is the element of water, and that is spirituality. It's the higher self, it's the universe, it's God, uh, which can be good orderly direction or gift of desperation. It's that feeling that there's something bigger out there that's unmanifest, that loves you, that takes an interest in your life, and that really has all the answers. So you're super tuned into yourself. You're really tuned in to what's good for you. And you're really able to hear those messages. That's amazing. The Four of Cups is a young man sitting under the tree. Look at that little squirrel. How cute is that? And he's already been blessed loads and loads of times in his life. And he's in a great situation. He's got the time to sit out in nature, to watch the birds fly by. He's wearing beautiful clothes. His hair is nicely done. He's talking to the little um, squirrels in the tree and the rat there. So really, life is good. But life isn't just good. It's so good that he's being given more. He's being given messages from the universe, whether that's hey, buddy, you're free to do whatever it is you want in life, or the universe loves you. You have so much love in you and available to you. Manifest more of it. Create more love. So it's really an abundance of positivity and good feeling. And I like that they've made this orange, because orange is the sacral chakra, and it's very much about control and manifesting your physical needs and desires. So messages that you get are going to set you free in some sort of practical way. The Ace of Cups is the first card in the suit of cups, and that is a total gift from the universe. So not only are you being directly handed an Ace of Cups by this disembodied hand of the universe swooping down and saying, here you go, have everything you ever wanted. We also have the Ace of Cups, the different phases of the moon here, this eye, shooting down laser beams of insights and knowledge and wisdom. It's not just feeling and understanding that you're in a good place and that you can build on that. It's really being clear of how that's going to affect your life today and in future. And it's real clarity of vision. Um, you're able to look ahead. You're able to play the tape forward. You're able to say, okay, if I focus on this goal, how am I going to make that happen? And you're able to play the tape forward in your mind's eye and you're able to implement certain things. If you set another goal or if you're focusing on something else, you have lots and lots of options and you're able to think through those and you can choose the one which you prefer. So each one of these cups, remember, is something really wonderful and magical. So he's got security. He is loved. He does a job that he adores. Final cup is self-love. And it just gets better and better and better. So having all of these emotional resources available to you, you're now able to use those and look at things, but specific things that you want and feel and it's like you're your own personal psychic because you're able to see the potential outcome to your actions. And it's really important that you trust those visions, those insights, because the Eight of Cups is a young man who's walking away from amazing things in his life because he knows deep down in his heart that he can have anything and everything that he ever wanted. Because the universe is abundant, it doesn't know limitations. The universe is expanding, right? It's got no border. There's no sign that says end of the universe. 
It just goes on and on and on and on and on. And we're part of the universe and we can see on this planet how abundant certain things are. They're just mind boggling. Like imagine trying to drain the oceans. If you started that job, you'd, sooner or later you'd say, wow, there's an abundance of water here. I never saw this much water. I can't even comprehend the amount of water here. And this guy has double this young man's cups. So all these great things, he's got twice the amount. So not only is he well-dressed, but he's also loved. He loves himself. He's got a job that he adores, but now he also has amazing friends and he's charitable and he's got a whole family and his children love him and he teaches and he adores um, the things that he works on and makes in his life. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful life. However, he gets the message that there's an abundance of opportunity in this world and you've created and achieved all this amazing stuff. You can do even more and you can do even more by listening to your higher self, facing your fears and doing, doing things anyway, following your dreams regardless of fear. You have faith in yourself and what you can do and what the universe gives you that eradicates the fear, fills you with motivation and certainty, and you're able to traipse off into your future, which hasn't been written yet, but which you see very clearly. So if you see your future very, very clearly and you have a plan today and you feel that this is right, this is going to bring me happiness. It is absolutely essential that you listen to that inner guidance because your vision is on point. The Ace of Cups usually doesn't come with an eye and three beams. It's in this deck and I'm using this deck for a reason. You can't pull the wrong cards. You can't pick up the wrong deck of tarot cards and pull the wrong card because the law of attraction is all work so whatever it is you're attracted to and whatever cards you pull those are the ones that are meant to be seen and this one says that you're clairvoyant you really know your path in life and it's important that you walk that path even if it's scary you don't know the outcome you just have this emotional certainty that this is what you're supposed to do. If you do feel that kind of certainty, it's really important that you follow it and you move forward with it because it's going to bring you a life that's got the 16 of cups in it. It's going to double and double and double and it's going to become better and better and better to the point where you can't even fathom how great this is. So you may be saying, well, if I'm satisfied in life and I'm happy with everything, then why should I leave and change things? And the card is saying that you haven't reached your maximum potential yet. And the happier you are, the happier the people around you are going to be, and the happier the world is going to be. Because you make more of a contribution, you bring more positive vibrations into the world, and as a result, other people have more positivity in their lives, and then can turn around and do the same. So it's important that you listen to your higher self, which is saying, hey, be happy. Follow your bliss. Make it happen. Do it and you will find that your faith pays off. You receive these amazing gifts that you couldn't believe or you couldn't even fathom. And then it all comes in because the universe has said that it should be that way. You're destined to experience bliss. Number wise, we've got eight and four is 12 and one is 13. One and three is four. And four is about structure and security. It's the emperor in the tarot. It's a stone throne. It's a solid permanent structure that you can build by leaving things that no longer serve you and moving into your future, knowing that amazing, wonderful things are yet to come. So go out and make it happen, follow your bliss and have faith that things that are beyond your wildest dreams are trying to get into your life. They're kind of knocking on the door saying, hello, we want to make your life even better. 
Have a wonderful day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the button on the front page to order your reading with me. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.